What's up guys, Hello Clash here. Just want to do a quick Clash of Clans video. Um, just turned Town Hall 10, maybe five days ago. I'm going to talk about, hey, what, what, what my recommended way on how to upgrade and start Town Hall 10 if you're just getting there. Um, I'm sure you guys seen the ship, right? That's coming. I think the update's coming in the next week or so. Um, so look forward to that, guys. That should be pretty exciting. It sounds like there's going to be a lot of cool things um, in this update. Maybe even share a couple of those kind of leaks at the end as kind of a teaser. Um, but let's uh, let's uh, <coughs> just go over some of this uh, Town Hall 10 upgrade stuff. So here's the stuff uh, that I'm currently upgrading. Um, I got my laboratory down, which I obviously need to get that down right away to, before you can upgrade any of your new troops, right, and get all your new levels. Um, Spell Factory, that went down. So I did one quick war just because I had been out for a little bit on a trip. I uh, wanted to get that done. And as soon as I got my war attacks done, I got them early, then I got my spell factory down. So I figured if I'm going to be out for war for a week, then I'm going to put my archer queen down and get a level on her. So she's going to 31 as well. Um, you know, if we're going to be out of war, let's let's make sure we get a hero down uh, at the same time. Uh, Clan castle was the very first gold upgrade that I spent. Um, it helps on defense. It helps on offense. It doesn't really affect your war weight. I think it's a great value. You should always, like, every level you go up, your clan castle should be, like... The very first thing you should spend gold on um, and doesn't it's not broken or you can still use it while it's upgrading so absolutely and then i took one of my barracks down to get miners um toss up whether i would have went one dark barrack or one um elixir barrack so um personal choice there um i have another kind of engineering account that i've got bowlers on but not miners so i thought i would get the miners going on this account um but, you know, if I had more builders and more resources, then I would have put both of them down uh, and just farm that up. The other things I did, I put down, uh, let's see, that's not it here. There's a level one giant bomb there. There's a level one air mine there. A level one air bomb there. So I put down a bunch of the new traps just quick. I put down uh, an elixir pump. And I've upgraded that a few times while I was getting the other stuff during that war. They were pretty cheap upgrades. Um, you know, the grind for Elixir is real, so get that pump down. And then I also put a dark pump down, so I got one level one dark drill. You know, I want to get those resources going. I actually never did put down the uh, gold uh, pump because I got so much gold already. I'm not really worried about that. I'll fit that in down the road. Um, I'm really focused on offense to start, and then I'll start trickling in some of these uh, defense upgrades in gold. That's just the way I play. Uh, it helps in war to be a little more leaning um, offense. You know, even as a balanced account, you want to lean that way. Um, you know, not buying this uh, Town Hall 10 value pack, which would you know jump my war weight up, but I don't have the weight to beat. Uh, level two infernos with my troops or the the firepower why would i put it in my base so i have to face it in war so um it really doesn't make sense so there is some hints that they're gonna work on this in the next update and make it harder to be a little unbalanced we'll see uh i'm gonna share those notes here right now um you know the latest thing i saw on twitter uh flashing this up in the screen is uh this list of uh you know leaks so what they're saying is that they're not going to do sneak peeks this round um and that it's probably just going to come and there's definitely youtubers over in finland right now so you know hey it could be next week or i would say the week after at the latest that we're going to see this update but the things you know you've already seen the boat um and they're saying in this uh leak text update is that this is going to take you to a new island where you can battle clashers in the coliseum and do 1v1 battles against uh other people uh probably in your friends list as well as doing clan tournaments against other clans so that sounds really awesome right like if you can do you know five on five or ten on ten and do clan tournaments it sounds that would be you know that's good. i think that's the big chunk that everybody's really excited about in this update um the boat's also going to give you a daily reward resources or gems um scales up with your town halls so that kind of sounds a little bit like boom beach right where your boats show up then you get some more resources. So it's going to bring more resources in the game, help you upgrade faster, uh, put more in people's storages. So if you like to farm, you should be able to get more loot fast. There's going to be a night mode, so that's probably just kind of a quality of life thing. Uh, more clan perks, 11 for 15. So hey, we are just went to uh, clan level 11. So excited to see what those new perks are. Some of those might be going above the 50 count member limit. Um, sounds like we might be able to donate resources out of our treasury to members. So if we got memories, you know, you got guys that are max at a level, let's say guys that are max Town Hall 9s, they got nothing to spend their stuff on. They don't want to go to Town Hall 10. Uh, they can give their resources to maybe some of the other people to help them get upgrades. 
Um, 50 new single player uh, missions, so I think that's going to be more goblin map stuff. So right now we're going to get the, you know more stuff there. So more things to do, uh, more loot to be gained there. A sleep button for clan castle. So hey, you maybe are in war, uh, don't have a uh, a shield up, but you want to get your war attacks in, but you can't keep your phone active. Maybe you want to request bowlers or something like that um, from your members. Um, you can turn your clan castle basically into sleep mode so it won't defend. Basically, you can do that with your king. I don't know if you ever noticed it, right? You can put him to sleep. So if you're going to log off and take the shield, you can put your heroes down and your clan castle down uh, so they won't defend. And then when after you get attacked, get your shield, you wake them up and do your war attack. So that'll be kind of a nice feature. Quality of life. Uh, supposedly, there might be a new sixth builder added uh, for Town Hall 10. Which I actually think it'd be a lot more helpful to get it to the people that are young, you know, lower. Um, so if you want to get into this game new and catch up to people, a six builder would be really nice. Once you're to Town Hall 10, I don't know if you really need it. Uh, friendly challenge to your friends. Um, sounds like we won't be able to name our heroes, but it won't really change how they work. Um, more kind of decoration stuff. Um, witches are going to get some tweaks. Um, goblins will get some tweaks. Um, sounds like we'll get a new bigger village and map. Um, and then some tweaks to clan match <coughs> war making so that could be kind of addressing some of the concerns that people have with engineered bases so you know if that's the update or part of the update or most of the update it sounds like a pretty awesome update obviously that first bullet point or first two bullet points um, are big and I think uh, there's going to be a lot as part of that and I would expect you know possibly seeing some new troops and some other things thrown in on top of that I've heard rumors about the ice wizard as well so um then what you guys think about this update uh are you excited to, to, to put this boat down and fix it are you going to gem it <laughs> or are you going to wait let it build i mean it's just see how long that is so let me know your guys ideas in the comment uh let me know that if the leaks you think are real and if you're excited uh and which of these leaks are you most excited about leave me a comment uh thanks for watching everybody you guys are excited for new town hall 10 comment like subscribe comment and uh help me out thank you